everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I am still alive. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a Dollar Tree Halloween DIY. And that is making this witch silhouette with a little cauldron. The thing that inspired me to make this is I seen someone haul a couple of years ago a metal witch's silhouette. There was a witch on this side and a witch over here. And then there was a small little cauldron in the middle for tea lights. And it just looked really, really cool. I haven't been able to find it in the store and I haven't been able to find it online either. I've seen some similar things, but it's not the same. The shape is just, it's just not the same. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make my own. So I made this and I used all Dollar Tree items except for this. This was fluffing out of an old pillow, fluffing, stuffing out of an old pillow. And then these little spiders I got a long time ago from Goodwill, but they do have little tiny spiders at Dollar Tree. And then also I did use spray paint to paint this, but you can use acrylic paint but I would suggest putting a layer of Mod Podge over it if you do the acrylic paint. And I know that they do sell Mod Podge at Dollar Tree. They just, I haven't seen it any, any of my Dollar Trees around me lately. So um, if you don't have spray paint, um, you can do acrylic paint. And they do sell acrylic paint at Walmart and I do believe it's cheaper than going to Dollar Tree anyways. That's my son in the background. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on today to let's get on to today's DIY. I started off by spray painting this glass bubble vase with some black spray paint. And then here I am taking this wooden witch that I got from the Dollar Tree and separating the cauldron from the witch. We don't need this cauldron part. And you're going to want to be very careful when you do this because this wood is so thin that it, the witch could snap. And here I am just cutting off some of the excess wood. You can take some sandpaper and sand it down, but I didn't have any sandpaper. And then I got this little wooden rectangle from the Dollar Tree as well. And at the beginning of this video, I said that everything came from the Dollar Tree, but I lied. That popsicle stick... Um, came from Dollar General, but it was only a dollar. They do have colored popsicle sticks at Dollar Tree, but they're a dollar twenty-five, and they were thinner. And I wanted the jumbo popsicle sticks so it could cover up the imperfection of the witch's hand, since I was, you know, amputating the cauldron, the stir stick, whatever you want to call it, from the witch. So. Yes, now I am very delayed on telling you what I'm doing here, but <laughs> I'm sure you can see that I am painting the witch and the little stand that I'm going to glue the witch onto, and then I'm also going to be painting the popsicle stick, and I did paint both sides of the witch and the little stand and the popsicle stick, however, you don't really have to paint the back side of the stand because no one's gonna see it but I I have this weird thing where if I know it's there it's gonna bug it's gonna bug me <laughs> oh can't talk anyways you're also going to want to make sure that you paint the sides of the stand and the witch and the pop popicle stick see I told you I cannot ta -ta talk <laughs> oh my lord as I was saying, you're going to want to paint the sides of the stand, the witch, and the popsicle stick. <laughs> and then here I am trying to figure out where I want to put the popsicle stick. I grabbed my little cauldron, and the reason why the cauldron is shiny here is because I painted a cal that cauldron three different times before resorting to the spray paint. It just was not working out. But yeah, anyways, right here I'm sticking the popsicle stick where I think it should be and then I glue it with some hot glue. I actually tried gluing it with super glue beforehand, but the super glue was just having it slip and slide everywhere. So I decided to go with hot glue instead 
And then I took a pen and I drew little dashes on the stand so I knew where I wanted to hot glue the witch. And then once I hot glued the witch onto the stand, I took my hot glue gun and I put more hot glue on both sides of the witch just to make it a little bit more sturdy. I never glued the cauldron down onto the stand because you want to be able to put the lights in there. We're going to be putting string lights in there and you want to be able to move the cauldron out from underneath the witch to turn on the lights. And also, I think it will be a lot easier to store because the vase is so heavy compared to the witch. This is really cheap, thin wood. So, yeah, I decided not to glue the vase to the stand. After that, I took some more of my black paint and I decided to cover up the hot glue. Obviously, you can still see it, but now at least it's black. <laughs> and then I took my paint and I'm just covering up little spots that I missed while I was painting, which I don't even know how that was possible because, I mean, did you guys see how much paint I put on there? <laughs> Anyways, after that, I took these little spiders that I got from Goodwill, as I have mentioned before, and I decided that I wanted to cover up this hole on the witch's hat. The hole is from the little string that they had on it. I cut it off for some reason. I don't know why that's not in the footage. Um, but yes, it also is on the stand that the witch is on, too. There's two holes, but... I mean, I could have glued two more on there, but I decided that it really didn't bug me and you're not really going to be able to see it because, you know, it's the stand portion. It just really bugged me on the witch because, you know, it's the witch. <laughs> Yay! You are so smart! <laughs> Anyways, um... What else was I going to say? I, I really don't know how I feel about the spider. Um, if you don't like it or you can't find the spiders, you could also, I think, just dabbing a little bit of hot glue into the hole, um, would definitely help. Oh, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I totally forgot to mention this, that I, like, when I put the hot glue down at the bottom of the witch and I used my finger to smear it, you absolutely do not have to do that. You can use the tip of a brush or something. I waited a second for it to cool off before I did that. Anyways, um, getting a little behind here, but I did try paint, well, not painting, I tried taking a permanent marker and making these green, but since they were yellow, it didn't really work. <laughs> so I just totally scratched that from the footage, but that's why it looks a little bit green. It's because I tried using a permanent marker if you have the clear lights, it probably would work. I did also get these from the Dollar Tree. Um, I did get them last year. I don't know if they have them now, but I do know that they put out Christmas stuff before Halloween even starts. So, there's that. <laughs> and then, this is how you're going to have to put the cauldron um, onto the stand with the witch. I'm just, you know, fixing it up a little bit. And then I thought a spider would make it a little bit more spooky, I guess. <laughs> and that is it. I was super excited with this DIY. I don't do DIYs very often, you know, come up with DIYs very often of my own, but I really like this one. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys all next time. Bye!